Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you all the books that I plan on reading in the month of July. So July is going to be a really exciting month. Now that the finally the Canadian border has opened up for Canadian citizens not to vaccinate going into the country, it's really exciting. So I'm able to go back and visit my family for the first time in like a year and a half. So I'll be visiting everyone for about a little bit less than a week so that will be really exciting just to be able to see everyone for since like the last time I was in Canada was in December of 2019 so it has been a long time so that is really something to look forward to but because I'm officially caught up with the Inspector Gamache series I can kind of explore different books now because I was so focused on just getting caught up with that series so I can kind of have books that are all over the place in terms of genre but you guys will know I'm in my backyard if you guys see my vlogs it is like 100% humidity right now so it wasn't my smartest decision but I was like you know what in I've almost I've had this book too for almost six years now and like I've never done a book video outside like this so I was like you know what I will brave the humidity it feels like we're living in Florida but I will brave it for you guys um, so yeah without further ado let's get started so starting out I first have the Tales and Teacups book club picks for the months of July and August which is Midnight at the Blackbird Cafe by Heather Weber and I have everything linked down below in terms of the Good Greek group Good Reads group and everything if you're interested in participating but I felt like this one would be a good summer read so essentially it follows this girl who goes back to this small town in Alabama and where um, after her grandmother has passed away so she's just thinking she'll be in and out kind of close everything her grandmother owned a cafe and um, while she's there she ends up kind of falling in love with this town and she's you know finds herself inexplicably drawn to the quirky southern town her mother ran away from so many years ago in the mysterious blackbird pie everyone can't stop talking about so I'm really excited for this my aunt is actually reading it right now and she says it's really good so I'm very much looking forward to this and I feel like this is like a nice fun contemporary read you know to enjoy during the summertime next up I have a historical fiction and I feel like I haven't read a World War II historical fiction in a while so I'm really excited for this one and it is The Beekeeper's Promise by Fiona Velpe. I have two of her books which are both historical fiction so I'm very, very curious to see if I actually end up enjoying them. So it says heartbroken and hoping for a new start. Abby takes a summer job in rural France at the Chateau Belleville. Oh, my French isn't very good I apologize. The old chateau echoes with voices from the past and soon Abby finds herself drawn to one remarkable woman's story, the story that could change the course of her summer and our life. In 1938, Elaine tends, um, tends beehives in the gardens of the beautiful Chateau Belleville. Um, in the shadow, she meets Matthew and falls in love for the first time, daring to hope that a happy future awaits. But France's eastern border is darkening under the clouds of war, and history has other plans for Elaine. When she is separated from Matthew in the chaos of German occupation, Elaine makes the dangerous decision to join the resistance and fight for France's liberty. With no end to the war in sight, her loyalty to Matthew is severely tested. So I think this one is really interesting. I think the premise of it being like in this fancy chateau also sounds like it will be a lot of fun as well. Um, so I'm really excited for this one. Like I said, I haven't read a historical fiction in a while and I feel like this one just kind of being in the French countryside during the war makes it sound really fun and then also incorporating the resistance in here as well. Next up, I have a kind of another contemporary one that I'm really excited about, and it is The Scent Keeper by Erica Baumister. I've had this book on my TBR since I got it at Christmas time, so I'm really excited to pick it up. And I was waiting for the summer to read this too, because it feels like a nice kind of summery read. Um, but basically, so it says, Emmeline lives on a remote island with her father who teaches her about the natural world through her senses. What he won't explain are the mysterious scents stored in glass bottles that line the walls of their cabin or the origin of the machine that creates them. As Emmeline groans, however, so too does her curiosity until one day the unforeseen happens and Emmeline Emmeline is vaulted out into the real world, a place of love, betrayal, ambition, and revenge. To understand her past, Emmeline must unlock the clues to her identity, a quest that challenges the limits of her heart and imagination. So this one kind of reminds me of where the crawdad sings, where this girl kind of lives in isolation, but I think like I like how it has like a mystery aspect, but also kind of being on a kind of 
isolated islands. It also sounds interesting and just kind of storing scents, I think sounds a lot of fun. So this one looks like it'll be a quick read too. It is under 300 pages. So I feel like I could read through this pretty quickly. Next is a book that I am super excited about and it's one that I'm reading for a book club that I'm part of with my lab mate and her friends. And I don't think I would have picked this book up because it does have like a strange title but once I read the back of the book I was completely 100% on board with this one. It sounds super interesting and it is The La uh, the Girl with the Louding Voice by Abby Duray and this one honestly sounds like it's amazing. So it says the remarkable inspiring story of a teenage girl growing up in rural Nigeria village who longs to get an education so that she can find her louding voice and speak up for herself. Uh, the Girl with the Louding Voice is a simultaneously heartbreaking and triumphant novel about the power of fighting for your dreams. I think this one sounds very interesting, especially kind of taking place in Nigeria. I think it will also kind of highlight kind of their culture, but also f show a girl kind of finding her voice in a culture that kind of suppresses, you know, women's rights. I think sounds really interesting. And the reviews for this one are really good too, so I'm super excited. And again, this one is also looks, it's just under uh, 400 pages. So I feel like this one will be a quick read as well. Tucker, have you come to join us? Look, what's this? Oh, hello. Hi, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, <laughs> thanks. So Tucker has come quickly to say hi and I am on my last book as well and again this is a historical fiction novel as well um, and it, this is one that I'm really excited about. The premise sounds super interesting and it is the Paris Library by Janet Skelsleen Charles and um, I'm really excited for this one so I'll quickly read the back here. So it says Paris 1939, young and ambitious, old Lee has it all, her handsome police officer Beau and a dream job at the American Library in Paris but when the Nazi march in to occupy the city, old Lee stands to lose everything she holds dear, including her beloved library. Together with her fellow librarians, Oldie joins the resistance, but the West best weapon she has with the best weapon she has books. When the war finally ended, instead of savoring freedom, Oldie tastes the bitter sting of unspeakable betrayal. And then it goes Montana, 1983. Lily is a lonely teenager looking for adventure in small town Montana, and the air of mystery around her solitary elderly neighbor from Paris piques her interest. As Lily uncover hints about her past, she finds that they share a love of language, the same longings, and the same intense jealousy, never suspecting that a dark secret connects them. I think this one sounds really interesting. I'm a sucker, especially for historical fiction that that has like a dual storyline in regards to um, kind of the past and present day narratives and just like something connects them but you're not really sure how these two storylines are connected. Sounds super interesting and I'm really excited for this. Like it sounds like it's super good. I've heard really good reviews about this so my hopes are really high <laughs> for this one. But yeah, I'm super excited for this and I can't wait to pick it up. So that's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books or what you thought about it or what books you'll be reading this month as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.